Since I get asked a lot on how to set up GZ Doom and Xandronum in order to play fan-made Doom mods or custom Doom mods such as Brutal Doom, I decided to make a short tutorial video in order to show you how to easily set everything up. First what you'll want to do is download either GZ Doom or Xandronum from the links below and unpack or install them to a location on your hard drive. Next you'll want to navigate to the base folder of either one and you'll see this. This is the base folder for GZ Doom. This is the base folder for Xandronum. You can tell because they'll have the EXE files in the base folder. Next you'll need either a legal copy of Doom and Doom 2 or if you do not have that you can also download free Doom from the link below and put the WAD file for those into the base folder of either GC Doom or Xandronum. As you can see, the Doom WAD is here, the Doom 2 WAD is here, and these are the Free Doom WADs. So the Free Doom WADs act as replacements for Doom 1 and Doom 2 allowing you to play any mod plus fan-made uh, Doom WAD you wish. Next you'll want to download either Brutal Doom from the link below or any other Doom mod you desire as well as whatever fan-made Doom WADs or Mega WADs or whatever you desire and put those as well into your base folder for either GZ Doom or Xandronum. Now I will show you two separate ways to play these mods and wads. The first method is the drag and drop method which is what I use the most. I usually do not keep the fan made wads after I play them and I delete them afterwards so I use this temporary method which is the drag and drop. So what you do is you select either Brutal 19 or Brutal 20 whichever you downloaded and then you control click on the fan made doom wad which will select both and then you drag both of them onto the executable and then you either select doom 2 if you have a legal copy of doom 2 or free doom 2 if you do not and then you click OK and you're ready to play a fan made wad of your choice that's how you do the drag and drop method. Now, the more permanent method is the creating a shortcut method. And that allows you to create a more permanent way so you don't have to navigate to the folder and drag and drop every time. In order to do that, you just uh, create a shortcut either to desktop. You can create either a shortcut to desktop or create a shortcut in the folder and then put it wherever you want in like in the start menu or something like that and you can name the shortcut to for example brutal doom core and then you go into the properties of that shortcut and at the end of the target box you space add an open quote and then you start putting in the mod and wad file names so for example brutal doom 20 you copy the entire thing plus extension and you put them into there and then you close quotation you space and then put another open quotation and you select the fan made wad you want in this instance doom core copy everything and paste as well and close quotation and apply and OK and then this shortcut from now on will run Doom Core plus Brutal Doom 20. So, so all you'll have to do is select either Doom 2 or Free Doom. And then click OK. And there you go. There's the shortcut method. Now if you're not running any uh, fan-made mods or fan-made wads, you can also create custom shortcuts just for Doom 2 and whatever. So, for example, if you have a uh, high definition textures pack or high definition music, like as you can see here, there's 
HD music, HD sprite textures, HD level textures, etc., etc., then you can create another shortcut and list that as, you can rename it as uh, Doom 2 HD or something like that. You go into the properties as well and you use the exact same method. You have uh, Doom 2 MUS PK3. Copy that entire thing, open quote, paste it, close quote, space, open quote. Then you take uh, Doom HD sprites, copy that entire thing, paste that there, close quote, space, open quote. Then you take the texture pack, copy the entire name, and then paste it in there, close quote, open quote, or uh, space then open quote. And if you wish to use Brutal, you can also put that in there and copy that and paste that like so and then you apply everything okay and from now on the doom 2 hd shortcut will run all those files that i just chose all from this and if you want to prevent it from showing this um, screen here this prompt screen you can select don't ask me again i personally need this screen up so i don't want to do that but if you feel like you don't want to keep on choosing these every single time and want to make your own custom shortcuts for everything, you can do that. Bear in mind that um, you will have to add the doom2.wad file into that shortcut using the quotation mark method as well. And then you can then it will auto load the doom2 wad instead of you having to select it by yourself. But then you press OK. It will show everything. And before you know it, there you are. As you can see, everything's HD. Everything's using HD textures and all that fancy stuff. So this is how you get um, this is how you get it working. That's the two methods you can use. You can use the drag and drop method or the shortcut method and in order to do that exact same thing drag and drop you would have to left click on Doom 2 music you'd have to left click well you'd have to hold control and left click on Brutal 20 and then hold control left click on that then hold control left click on this and hold and that's about it and uh, then you select left click hold whichever one of these and then drag them all on top of that. So that is the drag and drop method of what we just did with the shortcut. So those are the multiple ways you can set up this to automatically load whichever files you want. So I hope this video has been helpful and uh, thank you all for watching and I will see you next time.